tube from the Alcus maker. This was, if I pronounce that right, I picked this up on Banggood. You do got to put it together, but it is a pretty unique uh, glow tube and clock for anybody that's interested. So what I'm going to do is throw this thing together. Well, I'm hoping I can throw it together. I'll be putting it together and we'll see how it goes, how hard it is and what we got for a final product. But it comes packaged quite well like this. I already uh, opened it up and you have to go online to find the directions and then your driver that you hook to the computer to control the clock or set it. So we're going to get all the components out and I'm just going to start putting it together. Uh, there's a couple other videos on about it so I'm not going to bore you too much with all the components just the quick the, the steps and hopefully this video helps somebody that does decide to buy one if they want to put it put one together it'll help them uh, assemble one so let's get rolling there's a lot of components to it All right, what you got to do initially is these approximately one inch bolts put all them in this piece of walnut and then what we're going to do is just take this other plate and put over it get them all so they fall through Flip it over like so. No. Try it again. There. That's the next step. All right. Next step is take each one of these six LEDs. Now, make sure you. There's uh, arrows here showing. This goes side to side. Put this writing up top, and that's where that number nine, as you'll see as I go, nine's going to go down over that. Get them on. All right. Arrows are all pointing that way. Numbers are up on that side. Now you got these little rubber grommets or O rings, and you got to put them over each one of the bolts that are protruding through. So we'll get that done. All right. Now that them rubber grommets are done. We're going to put these, I don't know if you want to call them lenses or not, into caps. No. And you want to make sure these are lined up with the LEDs so the LEDs shine through them. Just like that. And go ahead and get them all on. Now, right away, I do believe they send a lot of spares. And obviously there's two spares of these. I don't think I need these. But one thing I've noticed is uh, tolerance on this is just incredible. The tightness, everything fits just perfect. So far, I'm impressed. Next step is the slots that hold the uh, LEDs, or the uh, numbers. And looks to me like they are, as long as you go in with the slots to the side, you're good to go. Now, them are all on. Very next step, basically just screw these down on every one of them. You can just tighten these by holding that nut with your hand quite easily. I would say they just got to be snug so they don't work loose. That rubber uh, o-ring does its job. Okay, them are on. Now next up is Basically take a Allen head screw, put it on, don't snug it down, put one there, and the one across, like that. And doing that, once that's on there, you're going to slide in the individual numbers. Now these, we got one, 0 through 9. They got them all, why would they do that? I gotta sort all these out. Okay, I got all them sorted. They do have one extra on each. So now there's a film. And if you have fingernails, it'd be nice. And I don't, even though my hands are kind of dirty. Um, i figure out a way to take this off. You do have an extra one, so that's nice. 
I do is probably get it started on each half and you're not getting fingerprints all over it yeah it's gonna it's gonna be fun I ain't gonna lie it's gonna be fun getting all them down in there without touching them I wonder if a guy should wear rubber gloves can't tell if that's all the way down in I think it is you start with your zero in the front and work your way back next one I'll do the one that'll drop down in and get to nine now one thing with these don't handle the face of them with your fingers you get uh, fingerprints on them and use your like your shirt touch it take anything off that you see dots hold it up to a light and it seems to be working quite well doing it that way so far everyone's gone in beautiful lint or anything on it so if you notice there got some pieces on it there all right I got them all on now these walnut make sure these are the tops I would Make sure you go the same direction for the grain. Go sideways. And you should be alright. Now, this will be a little tricky here. Let's see. I'm going to take this one off. Put it on. We're going to spin that around. I'm going to spin it around. Take this one off. Man. Oh, why? Uh oh. They're so. Uh, you know what? I don't think you should tighten these all the way down. Because now look what just happened. Every one of these. Every one. And I don't think I'm going to get them back in there very easily at all. Bottoms are in, but the top isn't. Okay, I had to literally pull it out. And what I'm going to do is not 100% snug these as tight as possible. And slide all these down on. Alright, I got them all slid in there this time. Keep pressure down on it. Oh, you know what? Look what I already did. I want to go that way with it. No. See, I lifted it up and I moved them all. Now we're going to have the green on the right side this time. So I'm going to put this one in. It's going to spin over and do that. And I'm holding it down. Not letting go of this hand at all. So that's the downfalls if you lift up and slide it over ever so slowly, keeping it tight. key is don't have them real tight yet just hand tight and you can always tighten them later now I gotta do five more well that was about two and a half hours of continuous effort getting all them in you're talking ten of them plexiglass slats with the numbers on them times six sixty of them I'm, it's a solid couple of hours. Now, it went better after a while. Next step will be, I do believe, put these in. Run these uh, keepers down. And they are going to go on to here. I need to. Make sure them are lined up. I 
going to get a bigger screwdriver for that one. Getting there. Alright, once that's on, take uh, two of these, slide it in each side, and then these end caps go on. Now you're going to take the wiring and install that. That'll be by itself, the zero, or the first one, and these will all go in succession. And it looks like there's one way they go in, so you have to look at that. So don't force them. If they don't go into one way, turn it around. You'll, you'll get it. It goes in a little hard, but not too bad. And that is how the wiring goes. Make sure they're all in there. Leave the first one out to hook to the controller. Next step is this controller is going to get mounted to the bottom of bottom housing and there's four four bushings and four bolts and your bolts in set it down put the bushings in controller will go on and I would say since we got extras I'm gonna put the o-ring on there It's always one. So that's on. So now what we do is we've got to hook that to here. And if I have the wiring right. Now I don't know where I'm going to go with the video. I did a bunch of footage. I took it apart a couple times after I put these black runners on, these aluminum uh, rails. Now, I put the wiring in, showed you how to... I mounted the controller on here, and make sure you put these sides on to where, right there, this has got to be for the U USB out on this side. And this side is where I messed up, but the video I was watching on how to do it didn't show me this side I have to take back off and why I have to do that is this is the controller and that mounts right there well that's up so we'll do it like this get that mounted now we have three of these two of them I'm not understanding for sure. Like I know this one's going to go here on this board. And um, it should go to here. Like that. And this will be mounted up in there. And they see no hookups for no other ones. Now off camera, I'm going to turn it on before I put this damn thing back together. Yeah, why bother off camera turning this on? We're going to see if this thing will work. Whoa. Look at that. Don't tell me. I already hooked it to computer, the controller, and downloaded a program before hooking these up. 21.11.04. We'll have to hook it to the computer. That's off. About 20 minutes. I don't know what these buttons do. Let me get it put together. Um, we'll see what we got going on here. All right, you got a couple options as to uh, look up for instructions to how to put that together and then uh, download the uh, driver in computer control. One is off that little card that I showed you at the beginning, or two on Banggood. You got the assembly steps uh, part way down as far as a link for it, right on the actual item. If you were to click there, this is going to take you to LX2 uh, assemblies, assembly details, and then the software for Windows was right here, which I downloaded that. 
and it's quite easily the only thing you have to worry about at first is when you unzip it USB to UART bridge which it tells you to do that and once you do that you're gonna bring up the the folder and I have it unzipped and I do have the, the clock plugged in right now hit connect for COM5 the port is connected I got it hooked right to my computer and you can go in here it's quite simple to adjust everything if you wanted to uh, change a color you can do that individually uh, run a stopwatch mode and you have different uh, effects here it'll be kind of hard I got to I could try to move this over to my other monitor which I got it over there and there's the camera or the there's the clock right there it said you go to water mode uh, rainbow mode Did you notice there how the thing changes a random mode he said if you wanted to change uh, color move that to yellow I'm going to add back to red though. Pretty neat. As soon as you hook it up, it uh, syncs with the time on your computer. So, I'm going to take this back out onto the workbench and show you what them side buttons do. Got everything together and done. Things pretty awesome. And got a few spare components. Putting these uh, plexiglass numbers in was a pain. Now as far as the side switches you got a front middle and a back one and from what I've seen there isn't a lot for instructions on them so you have to bear with it but the back one just brightens and dims it and the changing the modes I think is the middle one like six oops we don't want to go to six but on one that was set up uh, just like a, say a rainbow and I do believe if you were to push the front one, it brings it to a bunch of zeros. And what that does is you can change your uh, color. If you notice, all the colors changed. So we're going to go back to the front one and hold that front one down a green. Move to the next one. Maybe we'll make that a dark blue. Make this one maybe a purple. This one here will do a yellowish. I want red, darn it. I want too far. Make that one a blue. And there's the change of the colors. The front one changes the colors. Now you go to the second mode. So that one kind of glows different. Third mode. There's a fade. That's pretty cool. Fourth mode. Goes all the same color but fades in and out. Fifth mode is the one I do believe I like. Just random and then it'll stop and give you the time. And the sixth mode is to set the time without using a computer. And we'll get out of that. So we'll leave it with uh, the fifth mode. But it, once you got it together, this thing is very rugged. Awesome piece of equipment. Check that link out down below on Banggood. I do believe they got some sales and that going on. So I'll put that, in, that into the... Uh, link kids got his dirt and stuff out or that link in stuff in there pretty neat uh piece of equipment if you ask me you can go ahead and check it out so there you go check it out till the next time